strategy. This is going to be something of a West Coast installation. In other words, Tyvek house wrap or anybody's house wrap is not going to be used in this opening. We'll do another one of those in a future video because that's very important to learn how to do. However, this installation is going to assume that a grade D building paper is going to be subsequently applied after this window is installed. All right, so what so we're going to do is use a 12 inch flashing, nail on flashing product around the perimeter of this window. We're going to start at the bottom, work our way around. You can use a 9 or a 12 inch product. Obviously, we prefer 12 over 9, but either one's fine. Don't use 6. Percy, yes. where did you put your staples? Right in the edge. Why? Because uh, they can put a building paper or behind up flashing paper. Okay, so it's very important not to put your staples in this lower course of flashing really below that edge of the rough opening because that material is going to be pulled away later. All right, so now that we've applied our bib, it's time for corners. Now, if we were not going to install a pan, it would be time for side flashing. But we are going to install a pan because ASTM 2112 is encouraging pans and we think pans are really a great idea. So these are some pre-manufactured corners. They come out of the box looking just like this. Uh, we strongly encourage their use. That's about it. Let's put the other one in. Many windows could be a hundred or more pounds and that collision when the window lands on that rough opening can be rough. This corner is going to be like armor. It's going to help protect our materials and not let the collision of the window landing in this rough opening be a problem. And we're going to use a Rainbuster 40 mil uh, waterproof membrane. <clears throat> We've cut this membrane to be the dimension of our rough opening, the dimension of our rough opening plus 12 inches, which allows us to extend the membrane six inches up each trimmer. As you can see them doing right now. Now these guys make it look easy, but trust me, it's uh, not quite as easy as it looks. Percy and Epi have been installing. Percy, yes, you've been installing windows since you were in what kindergarten? Something like that. All right, so they make it look easy, just like Tiger Woods makes golf look easy. This is our pan. They've extended it six inches up each trimmer, and then they're putting a very simple slice in it. And what we'll do is we'll fold the slice down and away. And this will be the meat and potatoes of our pan. All right, there we go. There's our membrane pan. Now, our rough opening is flashed in preparation for a window to get set into it. In the case of a wood window, we have to prepare the wood window. <clears throat> this is a very common condition. This is your brick mold casing. And this is the jam to the window. We're going to put sealant right here because we have seen, historically, many, many windows leak because of that joint right there. So Percy is taking a small amount, probably a quarter inch bead of sealant, and he's applying it at that intersection of the brick mold and the jam of the window. Go ahead and tool it in. And remember, sealant has always got to be tooled. If you're not going to take the time to tool sealant, you're only going to get about half of its value. So we've applied the sealant, we've tooled it into place, and it's going to look like this. Alright, there's more than one way to fasten a, win a wood window into the rough opening. We're going to use metal installation straps. 
we're going to fix the straps to the jam of the window with screws. This is not the only way to install a wood window. You could run screws or nails through the brick mold casing. But we find this to be less disruptive to our flashing and sealing efforts. We think this is a superior method of installing wood windows. However, if your choice is to apply fasteners through the brick mold casing, I'm not going to tell you you can't do it. But I'm going to tell you this is a better way of going. If you've watched any of our other videos, you know that we believe the magic to window installation is the proper use of high quality sealant. We're going to apply a half inch bead of sealant toward the outboard edge of this brick mold casing. And we're going to apply it in such a way that when the window sets in the opening, there will be squeeze out around every side. All three sides will have squeeze out. This is a good sealant bead. This is what you want. All right, now that we've got this window prepped for installation, which means we've got the installation straps on, and again, you don't have to use installation straps, but we like installation straps. We've got sealant applied at the intersection of the brick mold casing and the jam, and we've got our half inch bead of sealant applied on the outboard edge of the brick mold casing. The rough opening is correctly prepared, flashed, pan system in. It's time to get this window in the opening. Now it's time for our two Arnold Schwarzenegger types to put this thing in. You always put the sill in first and tilt it into the rough opening. When you press this window into the rough opening, if it's correctly sealed, you will see squeeze out around all sides of this. Can you see how that sealant has jumped out at us? Okay, now these guys are going to apply shims. They're going to get it level square and plumb. And then they're going to screw it off with the straps on the inside. We always tool sealant. And our putty knives actually have a nice little... Let me see the edge of your putty knife. You can see that this knife has a nice little radius edge to it. We did that with either a grinder or you could rub it up against concrete. But if you soften that edge, then as you go ahead, Percy, as you kick that sealant up against the window, it gives you a much sweeter finish. And it's real important that whatever polyurethane you choose is compatible with the next step. Because our next step is to put a waterproof membrane, a peel and stick SAF waterproof membrane on top of this window. All right. If you're going to use metal water table, also known as drip cap, also known as head flashing, now would be a good time to apply it. We don't have any metal water table now, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply our SAF membrane on top. Now you could put your water table up uh, after this is on, however the top vertical leg of the membrane, or of the uh, metal flashing, you'd want to counter flash with some more membrane. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply our 40 mil uh, peel and stick membrane on top of this window and we're going to lap it onto the top of the brick mold casing so that if any water gets back here we're going to guide it away from behind that brick mold casing. We've ensured that it is chemically compatible with the sealant that is below it. And this window is now nicely flashed. Now we do encourage the use of metal head flashing. We think that's great. You could have either put the metal head flashing on before this product or you could put the metal head flashing on now and then run another strip of waterproof membrane on top of the inside vertical leg right here or you could apply the metal head flashing with plenty of sealant uh, now the, you just don't want it to get you just don't want water to get behind the metal head flashing